I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate matter, and we need all the help we can get from people we can trust. We've got a lot to do to prepare for the President's visit, and not much time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? Ask your questions, but keep it short. Security detail consists of rangers stationed here at the dam. Some will keep an eye on the crowd while others will watch the perimeter. Snipers and sharpshooters have been assigned to key locations, and we also have a special canine unit sniffing out members of the crowd. I've also locked down access to critical locations such as the landing platform on the visitor center. All right, I'll give you full access. I have a full itinerary here. Here you go. The Legion will definitely try something. We don't have any solid leads yet. I'd almost expect something direct from them. But given the circumstances, there's a possibility of something more subtle, like sabotage. But since we don't have anything solid, we'll just have to keep our eyes out for anything out of the ordinary. Someone like you. I'm just glad to have you on board. Do whatever you can. Security sweeps, talk to people, keep an eye out. We trust you, so you're free to have your weapons. Just don't do anything too crazy, and we'll back you up. If there's nothing else, then let's get moving. Good. The President doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty, and the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. President Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last-minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. But don't take too long. Hey, you haven't seen my friend around here, have you? His name is Ben, and he's an engineer. We were supposed to meet up so we can watch the President's speech together, but he hasn't shown up yet. Okay. Well, I guess I'll just keep waiting. Sorry to bother you. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can.
Morning. If I was the assassin, I'd be up on that ridge. Or if I didn't care about escaping, maybe that near tower. Or the landing pad behind us. I'll sit tight. Hey, I heard about you. What can I do for you, friend? Nope. Haven't noticed anything strange at all. Neither has my friend here, and he has a good nose for these things. Not since the last time you asked, no. Thanks. We haven't been paired together long, but he's a smart dog. I brush it every day. 100 brushes. Thanks. We haven't been paired together long, but he's a smart dog. I don't know about that. Okay. Take good care of them and bring them back when you're done. Hey, I heard about you. What can I do for you, friend? Bye. Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Ladies, Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen I'd, like I'd like to thank, thank you for coming, coming out here today for this very special, special occasion. It is, it is my pleasure to introduce to you the, the president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Thank you, my fellow Californians, who have come so far to have the call the service put forth by the Republic. It is for you that I have come here, and it is because of you that I am able to do so. We enjoy our privileges because you take the greatest of risks and are prepared to make the most noble sacrifices. What are you doing up here? Oh, shit. Really? We should go take a look. We're just going to be a moment. We should both take a look first. Uh, I think I should check it out first before radioing it in. Fuck it. You're more trouble than you're worth. And it's because of men and women like Private, Private First, First Class, Class Jeremy, Jeremy Watson, Watson, that Nevada and the, and the new California, California Republic remain free and secure. <laughs> Jack, on the outskirts of one hide, Jeremy, Jeremy Watson, Watson never had any CC. His father worked as a caravan guard, guard on the short loop, and, and his mother, mother like many, many Californians, brave the ruins of the old world as a prospector. They, they suffered, suffered through water shortages, raider attacks, attacks, and, and brotherhood, brotherhood war. Like our, our mighty Sierra Nevadas, 
they endured. But the time came and they could no longer shoulder the burden alone. Twelve years ago they called out for help, and the Republic heard them. Troopers, rangers, just like you, answered the clarion call. Men and women stepped forward to say, I will carry the weight. And at Owens Lake, we made true on our promise. Driving out the raider tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We carried the weight, and though we left behind many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, it did not break us. Ten years ago, Chief Police met with representatives of the Desert Rangers to discuss terms of what would become the Ranger Unification Treaty. The treaty was more than a resolution to welcome the Desert Rangers into the Republic. It was a covenant to protect Southern Nevada against Caesar's Legion and the tyranny of this regime. There are some back home who ask me, but who are we protecting? What is the bad to us? Sometimes we forget that the light of our society shines beyond our borders. Sometimes we take those privileges for granted that our warriors fought so hard to achieve. We must always remember that wherever California stand, we carry our principles with us. Equal respect, representation, and protection under the laws of a just republic. This was the same fire that burned in the heart of the old world that preceded us. We are the heirs of that civilization, torturers eastward of the Pacific, into the darkness of this wasted land. When the Republic called the men and women of California to carry that fire across the Mojave, Jeremy Watson answered, you answered, together you carried the weight. And when BFC Watson's platoon came under attack at Forlorn Hope, he took the greatest risk, not only for his fellow Californians, but for California itself. He was prepared to make the most noble of sacrifices to defend the principles of our Republic, even here, on Nevada soil. His actions are a beacon to all of us who stand here today in tribute to his power. Private First Class Jeremy Watson, on behalf of the Senate and people of the new California Republic, it is my honor to present you with the Star of Sierra Madre. Not far from this spot, a monument stands as a tribute to the sacrifice made by those who came before us. The men and women who fulfilled the promise we made to the Desert Rangers. Its back is inscribed with the names of the troopers and rangers who carried the weight. And because they made the most noble sacrifices, it did not break us. Four years ago, we held this dam. Four years ago, we carried the weight. Four years ago, we drew a line through the Mojave as clear as the Colorado River. A line that Caesar cannot cross. Today, you stand here with our brothers and sisters to hold that line. Today, you honor all Californians by carrying that weight. Today, you are the waves of the Pacific, pushing ever eastward. You are the sequoias rising from the Sierra Nevadas, defiant and enduring. You are the great western light of California, torchbearers in the darkness, living reminders of all that is best in our republic. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, okay. let's just get back out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? You think I want to get shot at all?
Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. job today. You got the president out safe and sound. And I couldn't have done it without you. You have my thanks.